G'day guys, today we'll be working on a uh, Jayco Heritage. Uh, it's quite an old van, um, they've just had a GVM upgrade on it, okay. Um, the guy's taken it up to Port Hedland, he's going to live in it for a while and then retire and, and travel around Australia on it, so he wants to, you know, to carry a bit of weight. Um, there's no gas badge or anything on it, um, so we just got to bring it up to today's standard with, with all the stuff in it, but most of the appliances are alright. Um, gas valves, um, they need to be changed over to the, you know, the nice gas approved ones, the yellow ones. Um, also, the um, gas bottles inside the box, um, the, you know, the vapour barrier isn't all the way to the ceiling. So instead of trying to get that to seal, which is, is a very difficult job, I've done quite a few of them. I can do them, but they're just yeah, hard to do. The guy wants his boot space back, so we're going to mount the bottles on the, um, on the A-frame at the front there. Um, and just put a gas bayonet in for a uh, marine grade barbecue with the uh, flame foe device. So that's what we're going to be working on today. Um, yeah, so I'll show you uh, how it all works out. Um, here's the logo. Okay, so um, I've set up the you know the front of the the uh, bottles and everything, bolted all that in, fabricated that all up. So that's all, all good and working. But I haven't um, touched the gas side of things yet. Okay, so I've removed their old regulator, got that out um, completely, and all I've done is just put the put it on test. Okay. And there was this super slow leak somewhere, you know, oh, it was annoying. So I took out all the, um, all the gas valves, um, replaced all those, and then I could start isolating things, all right? So I isolated all, all the appliances, the fridge, the stove, and the hot water system. Um, I tested it, it held, okay? And then after that, um, I um, put, on, put them all on again, tested it, and it started dropping. And then I started isolating each appliance. And then it just came down to the fridge. Somewhere in that fridge is leaking. Because as soon as I turned the fridge off, it would stabilise and stay there. Okay, so something's going on with the fridge. Um, and this is the kind of thing that just blows hours because you've got to try and find it, you know. Uh, so anyway, the, the door over here was, um, was glued on because it, uh, you know, it was missing the little, the little screw here. Uh, so this is the, the fridge line here. And this is where it comes in, in here. And I thought, you know, it could be this... this fitting here but then when I sprayed uh, sprayed a little bit of water around here you can just see I don't know if you can see that see how it's just sort of glinting so there's a slight little leak on that inside the fridge so you can just see it it's so small so minute but again um, unsafe you know so so the only thing I could do is just isolate the fridge but I might just take that this cover off here and just to see exactly uh, what is that thing it looks it might be like a little gas cock or something or a regulator but i'm not sure this is quite an old fridge so we're just gonna sort that out um yeah a little bit annoying because i could have been you know sticking bayonets in and welding things on and that but i've got to muck around trying to see if i can sort that out now so it's one of those things you've got to be safe but this, this is the type of thing that you gotta um it just blows out because you've got each time you got to retest again and let it sit for five six minutes and then you know document it and all that sort of stuff so Anyway, I'll take that off and see what's underneath. G'day guys, how are you going? Um, all sorted, thank goodness. Um, so yeah, the bottle holders come up really good. So I just used some like 40 by 40, I think it's three mil um, galvanized steel that I've done and I, I folded a special way underneath. So um, there's bolts that go into the chassis this way and also from the top. And also I use um, automotive glue, um, like adhesive to heal it down. So you know, even if you take the screws out in the future or they do snap, don't, don't think they ever will. Um, it, it still won't come off anymore. And then we've used eight mil bolts to bolt down the holder and the, and the two bottles, um, the, you know, two brackets are bolted together. So yeah, really rock solid and, and that worked out really well. Just a real shame that they had a gas leak. Um, I mean, and I was lucky too that I could actually see it because if it was one of the joints up in the fridge, then the whole fridge just would come out and that would have been a pain in the butt. But it was already a pain in the butt um, that was leaking. But all it was, it was just a little... Uh, they used to have like gas cock, um, that's what they used to call them, and they're just like a, they look like a bit of a funnel with holes in it, and you have to grease them up, and once that grease goes, um, yeah, it, it starts to leak out. They have the same um, gas cocks in um, stoves and ovens and stuff like that, um, you know, so they're, they're all over the shop, and luckily that was leaking, so I just took that out, serviced it up, put it all back together, and it held up really good. So the bottles are moved out from the front of the van now, um, out of the locker, which is good because it's a real pain to seal it back to that door. 
Um, so yeah, super safe out the front there. Also the guy asked, he said, can you make sure I've got enough room to put a 150 pipe in there? So I, I had to make sure that I could bring those bottles forward enough so they could still fit a, fit a pipe in. And then he gave me a call and said, by the way, we run out of time, were you able to fit that pipe for us and, as well? I said, no worries. So stuck the pipe on two 150 um, like couplings on the end of it. So, and I made it two meters long. I, he didn't get back to me, uh, that's what I thought. I didn't glue the ends on, because um, I thought if you want to make it a bit shorter or something, then you can just pop those off, cut 150 or whatever you want off it and stick it back together. Uh, put the stickers on inside and everything for the cooker and the um, location LPG badge um, label, gas compliance label, bayonet label, all these labels we've got to put on. So did all those, so she's all ready to go now. And uh, so he's going to pick it up tomorrow and this one's going up to Port Headland. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Um, if you've got an old van that needs to be compliant, Try and see if there's a badge there somewhere because then you know, it means we don't have to change too much pipe work or anything. You know, these ones had new gas valves and everything installed, but they're all good now. Um, so, all right, I'll catch you later and uh, see you on the next one. Play the logo.